everybody. Welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is still Mark Starr and today we are going to be wrapping up our brewery focus week uh, on Dark Horse Brewing Company out of Michigan. Um, so if you joined us on Monday we took a look at their cream stout called Two and then on Wednesday we took a look at their smoked stout called Four. Um, what I find to be interesting is that um, this last beer that we're going to be looking at, uh, which is called their Reserve Special, um, it's actually not even a stout. It's called an American Strong Ale. Uh, it clocks in right at about 7.5%. But what you're going to find out, at least I remember from the last time I had this beer, was that it really drinks like a stout, um, even a, 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 a Baltic porter, if you will. Really dark, you know, really flavorful. Uh, you know, lots of, lots of character. I remember that about this beer. The thing that drew me to this beer first and foremost uh, was a couple of years ago when I, you know, started really getting into buying Draft Magazine on a regular basis. Uh, and I think this was for their 2009 year end list. They had this beer listed as one of their uh, top 25 beers. And, you know, I always, just for the hell of it, try to drink as many beers as I can on there. Um, I generally trust their opinion, um, and plus it's just kind of fun to have a, you know, a tight list of 25 beers uh, that other people really dig, and I try to find them and enjoy them, and uh, you know, the last time I had this one was a really good time. Um, there was a new Wilco DVD that came out, and uh, I came downstairs here, sat at the computer, put on my headphones, uh, you know, watched the concert, drank this beer. And uh, it was just a really good time. So I had a you know good memory of this beer. And when I set out to do Dark Horse Week, you know I knew I wanted to have this beer on here without a doubt. Now, as you can see, I'm pouring it in the glass right now, and uh, that's black. You know that's that's definitely a stout. In fact, it is the exact same color uh, as the other two stouts that we have reviewed this week. Um, the head on this one is a little bit lighter of a color. Uh, than I seen that than I saw on the uh, two and the four, uh, but otherwise it virtually looks uh, exactly the same. So you can't see through it at all. It's got that raisin fig, you know, ruby red color right around the edges. So let's go ahead and see if it's you know living up to what it did the last time. So immediately, I love the nose on this one. It's got this really elegant floral component. And, you know, what? this is going to sound really strange, but, you know, if, if they made a perfume for men, that's what this smells like. You know, it has this really nice floral component, but it's also really manly. You know, it's got lots of that, um, you know, traditional dark horse molasses, uh, chocolate, it, there's really a lot of chicory in there as well. You know, go do some research on chicory, read about it. Um, it's, it's kind of used as a substitute for coffee. Uh, it tends to have a little bit more of a sourness, and I really get that out of the nose on this one. And you know, that's one of the things I think I love about this beer uh, more than anything, is just the nose. I mean, I could really sit here and smell this one, uh, you know, for a long time. It's interesting to me because there's a couple of things in here that, like I get this almost like a, like a dank old, you know, leather shoe. Um, and there's also a touch of smokiness from the malts. Now it's not like the four where it's, it's really obvious, um, but it's got it. Let me, hold on, let me, let me give this thing a, a really good swirl because there, there's this odd smokiness that's coming out of here and I can't quite place it. It's almost like a Hickory Farm sausage, you know? Remember when you would go into the Hickory Farm store, maybe it was called Pepperidge Farms, I don't really remember, but um, it really has that sort of smoked sausage in there. So it's, it's floral, it's molassesy, it's caramely, it's chocolatey. Uh, you get that bitterness, that bitter coffee espresso from the chicory, um, and a little bit of smokiness. But anyway, let's go ahead and taste it because uh, I'm dying to see how it tastes. So honestly, it really tastes a lot like the other two that we've reviewed this week. Um, I, I think the thing that I like about this one, though, again, 
is that it really has more of a floral component to it. And when I say a floral component, I don't just mean on the nose, I mean on the palate as well. Um, it's got, I, I guess, it's more of a medium bodied beer, but I, I just really like how everything melds together on this one. Um, it's very easy drinking. And again, it's not so heavy um, that even in the summertime or spring, it's, you know, it's not something that you can't drink. In fact, this one would really go great in fall. Um, it really just, I, I don't know, I could imagine sitting outside and, uh, you know, maybe with my coat on because it's getting a little bit chilly, which hopefully we're getting there pretty soon. It does have a little bit of earthiness. Um, you know, we've talked a lot, I think in every one of my reviews this week, I've said that their beers um, are really earthy. You know, like you would um, imagine yourself in a really dark, uh, damp cave. Um, anyway, if you're into the, the, the molasses components, uh, the cave components, the earthy components, bitterness of stouts. Um, I think you'll really, really enjoy this one. I, I mean, I do. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty stellar beer. Um, I wouldn't rate it as highly as Draft Magazine. I don't think this will end up in my top 25, um, but I really enjoy it. Um, you know, if I had a few of these sitting around, I would have no problem devouring them at any time. Um, in fact, the next time I head up north to either Michigan or Minnesota, uh, I'll probably try to pick up a couple more of these just because I think of all of the stouts I've had uh, from them so far, which again, I know this is not a stout. This is the one I think I really enjoy the most. But anyway, it's definitely worth searching out if you can. I don't know that I'd trade for it, but uh, maybe somebody will throw it in as an extra for you. Um, anyway, I really enjoy it. So, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this week. Um, sorry about the computer issues. Sorry it took me a little bit uh, longer to get this week out than I had hoped. Um, but as you know, next week I'll be coming back with two random beers. Um, as I've said, I would really like to, you know, one week focus on a brewery or a style. Uh, and then the next week I'll just kind of do a, a random tasting on Tuesday and Thursday. It just kind of helps me mix it up for myself. Uh, it keeps me from getting bored and keeps me, you know, kind of on my toes and really trying to, you know, try different beers. But I think I've got some really good things lined up for you that you'll be excited about. So I hope you'll come back next Tuesday. And uh, I think that's about it. So let me know what you're looking forward to the most for football season this year. I know it's coming up and we're starting to see, um, you know, some games coming on and stuff like that. So, so who's your NFL team? You know, what game are you looking forward to the most? Uh, anyway, show me some NFL love. All right, well, my name is Mark Starr from thehopper.com. Make sure you go there. Follow me on Twitter, too. So, anyway, well, that's it. See you guys next week. Cheers.